Okay, so you, after you download Max, um, you start your Max, and it might, um, I already started, but it might look like there is a um, window like this, gray window like this open, and that's fine, just keep it around here. And the first thing you want to do is to make a new patcher, which is here, new, right? If you're in Windows, um, the same thing, I think, um, for uh, Macintosh, it's Command N, and something like this open. This is basically your palette, uh, work area and there's stuff on the top and stuff on the sides like this on the bottom and we're going to start from um, uh, here you run your mouse over it and tells you what they are so this is the uh, object uh, message and so on and so forth so the first thing is object you can drag it down here or you can actually um, uh, shortcut n n for object so you click on the that you can get objects so um, as you notice here it says untitled I haven't saved it so untitled and unlocked so this means edit mode right so edit mode um, you can you know move things add things and you can go to unedit mode locked mode uh, you can go that by a few ways you can click on this corner here it says lock so you lock it and you cannot move it you cannot do anything here right so that's locked unlock you can click on it and do that or you can go to um, edit mode so that's command or control in um, Windows I think that's the second way to do it and the third way to do it is hold down your command or, or control command key and click on the surface and it goes back this is the fastest okay so now you know unlock mode okay so um, I can make it a little bigger um, so you see this um, object box like a rectangular box, like a sandwich like looking like gray top and the bottom. And this is the object box. Okay. And it has a, a like a little top and little bottom uh, round things at the um, on, on the top and the bottom. And first thing we're gonna learn is something called print object. The first object you learn. So you just write print. Now a print object. So um, in anything in Max uh, you can draw your a mouse over to the left is this little yellow triangle appears you can click on it and you'll give you a uh, pull down menu of all sorts of things you can go to help and get the help or you highlight it and you go to help and get help print help or the third way is I do this because it's faster seems to be uh, control click and open help so you can get a help print any message in the Max console which is this right so you can print anything that's going in here. So uh, let's see what we're going to print. Let's see. The second thing we're going to learn is message box. You can drag it out here, or the shortcut again is M, M, right? And remember the uh, um, object box, which is N. So first big, big mistake that people make is confuse these two, and it happens to everyone. So be very uh, mindful. This is the uh, object box has a sort of um, sandwich gray thing and this one doesn't it's a rectangular but uh, rounded edge that's a message box so don't make a mistake on that okay so now message box you can connect it to the print box like this just grab where it says message result and then print anything to be printed in max window which means this console window so this is called the inlet that's called the outlet you can print anything in here like I don't know um, hi or or anything so let's see um, you can say happy new year it can be a, um, a sentence like this okay so now we're gonna get out of the um, edit mode and now it's locked mode right and then go ahead and click these uh, message box and watch here watch it says print hi print happy new year so this is the uh, the print box what it does is to show you what's happening in your your workspace that's what it does um, moving on uh, this one the third one is called a comment and it's surprisingly important because two weeks from now you're not going to remember what this patch is about what this uh, first patch is about so you can annotate it this is my first oops first next patch I mean, believe me, you're not going to remember 
two weeks from now what this is about. So it's really, really important to note, annotate what your work is or what anything means. So that's a comment uh, object. Uh, the shortcut for that is C. Okay. And if you want to shorten, like this is me, <laughs> um, and there are like, spaces open and you want to shrink it, you can just go Command J and snaps to the size that you just typed. Minor detail, but um, kind of important. Okay, and then uh, moving on, this is called toggle. Um, okay, so I drag it out. It has four corners. You can grab it and make it big if you want. Um, and then let's go to the help file. Um, switch between off and on. So you lock it and click on it. It lights up and lights off. Lights up and lights off. Let's see if I can print this. You can connect to the print and watch the um, uh, max window. It says one, zero, on, off. Okay. So if you go to the um, um, help, switch between one, zero, or non-zero. So um, this is used to turn things on and turn things off, if you would. OK, so next one is called button, or we call it bang. Uh, again, you can make it big or small or whatever. And this is a really uh, kind of a cute little thing <laughs> that uh, blinks and um, uh, sends a bang. So what that means is that, let's see if I'm connecting the toggle to the bang and watch on. It's printing because I'm also connected to print. Zero, one, zero. And every time you click on it, it's, oh, something is coming in. Oh, something is coming in. Oh, right? But you don't know. He doesn't know what this is. It's one or zero. He just blinks it. That's all there is. Okay, uh, you will see how important these things are later on, but for now, just to know who who they are. Okay, so the next thing uh, is a number number box. Number box receives and sends outputs a uh, number. So um, I'm going to connect um, to the print. Go ahead, and I'm just going to move him over. Um, and I'm in non-edit mode. And watch here. Uh, you can uh, clean your uh, max window by clear all here. There. So watch. See, I'm printing all this number. Print. I'm sending all these numbers. It can be minus or it can be enormously big, whatever. But uh, um, it outputs number. And uh, one uh, frustrating thing. Oh, by the way, the shortcut is not number n because n is taken by the new object n. So uh, shortcut for the number is i for integer okay so right now i have two integers here one is connected to print one is not um, i want to move this number how do i do that i can't move this number so um, i click on it and now this little yellow thing yellow arrow here means this number box is active so you can now change them now you no longer can change this because i'm this this number is active right so if you want to change back to this one click on it and then active and it's printed right so if I you can type into it I just typed into it so uh, let's see 456 like that right so it, it works like this okay so that's the number box and uh, let's see um, one of the first second object you learn in max usually is uh, something called metro metronome and I'm going to give a 1000 millisecond uh, interval which in this particular mode it's yucky <laughs> but it's a uh, uh, one um, second uh, every one second so it's a, a war quarter equals 60 basically so something like this you highlight it you look at the help output a bang message at regular intervals okay so uh, I'm gonna clean up here so it's clean and has two inlets and one outlet start stop metronome and that is the time interval and that that is the tick so you can add a bang this one the same one bang for b right and then here you can add a toggle like this now uh, exit edit mode and watch two three four five six and so on okay and if you want to change this timing you can send in the integer that you just saw 
and uh, let's see, I want to uh, twice as fast, so five milli 500 milliseconds, which means 120, quarter equal 120. So it's twice as fast now. And notice that I sent in 500, and um, Metro 1000 has not been changed in, in appearance. But in fact, 500 has replaced 1000. So that's something that people get usually confused. You can go fast, faster, and you can change this tempo dynamically. So um, dynamically mean on, in, in real time. So now uh, 1200, right? Or really, really fast. It's really, really fast. It can't even blink. Um, and so on and so forth. So that's the metronome.